Hello and welcome to Working With Miniatures. I'm Jim and today we're going to be painting half-elf bards for Dungeons and Dragons. We'll be using miniatures from the Nolzer's Marvelous Miniature line by WizKids. We'll be using Army Painter Speed Paints and their basic war paints. Let's get started. I start by planning out which Army Painter Speed Paints I want to use for the base coats. Ultimately I'll be using Speed Paint for everything except the flesh, eyes, a hilt, a blade, and the bronze armor on the bard that's shouldering his instrument. While applying speed paints, I try to apply them as accurately as possible as I do experience the reactivation issues associated with the Army Painter speed paints, especially when using the lighter colors of the set. If you do not experience the phenomena of reactivation, then you have my congratulations. Unfortunately, I'm not so lucky. If you have the problem with reactivation as I do, you can work around this by painting all of the areas with the speed paints you plan to use, and then varnishing them. Once the varnish is set, you can resume layering over the speed paint safely. Taking the time to varnish miniatures in the middle of painting can cause an inconvenience if you're trying to power through your painting session as quickly as possible, and if that is the case, then consider Citadel's contrast paints over Army Painter Speed Paints. I am admittedly a fan of both for mostly similar reasons, but they both have their own pros and cons. For me, I spend several days painting miniatures as I only have so much free time due to the endless other projects I find myself inundated with, so having to take this extra step of varnishing doesn't create a roadblock for me. It's at this point that I spray several light coats of Army Painter's anti-shine matte varnish, letting the miniatures dry completely between each coat. After the varnish is finished drying, I can now finish base coating and adding layer highlights, as well as correct any mistakes made with speed paints without fear of reactivation. The eyes were done by painting the socket solid black, the sclera white, and ensuring to leave a black outline all the way around the sclera. Then finally drawing a thin vertical line connecting the black border above and below the sclera. A link to how I did the bases can be found above in the information on the top right corner of your screen. Going forward, I'll be changing my approach to painting miniatures as I'm going to start pushing myself harder to get better. I'll continue using an airbrush to prime and create initial highlights, but I'll no longer be using only a static overhead light source. I'll be looking to incorporate OSL or more angled light sources, such as from a setting sun. I will also continue to use speed paints, but I'll be looking to push contrast between light and dark and spending more time glazing more subtle changes in highlights and working my way to significantly brighter highlights. The most notable change that I'll be making will be the changing of the primary brush I'll be using. I've been using the Army Painter Regiment brush as my workhorse, but I've recently purchased a Windsor & Newton 7 Series Size 2 from a local art supplier, but I've yet to use it. My understanding is that this brush should hold a better point than the Army Painter Regiment brush. After painting about a dozen or so miniatures with the new brush, I plan on doing a brief beginner's guide to brushes but I need to have used a wider range of brushes before trying to make a beginner's guide on the topic. As a final note, as seen at the start of this video, I am currently working on building a deck, which is very time consuming. This has already slowed my video rate and will likely continue to be a blocker for the next week or so.
This is the finished product. I'm looking forward to painting the next set of miniatures and using the new brush and the new steps that I'm going to make myself take. I just wish I could get through this deck a lot quicker. This is going to wrap it up for today. I hope you learned something or were inspired to start or expand your own collection. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like the content of this video and like to see more, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Jim with Working With Miniatures. I am truly grateful for your time, and I bid you a fond farewell. Until the next video.